All right, guys, so let's go in with this Neutrogena Hydro Boost. This is a moisturizer, and this is a drugstore one. Um, I absolutely love this moisturizer. It does exactly what it says it's going to do. It's um, hydro, so it's going to hydrate your skin. It's going to plump it up, give it that moisture it needs. So, you guys, it absolutely does the work, and I really like it because it's not greasy. Then we're going to be going in with the L'Oreal Miracle Blur. This is a dupe for the Benefit Professional. Um, this one I think is about like $13. Um, and the Professional is $30. So it's like half the price. You guys, I honestly believe that this is a dupe for that Benefit Professional. I'm not lying to you. Go ahead and try it. Now, this is the Wet n Wild Foundation. I wanted to keep this, you know, like a first impressions drugstore makeup tutorial as much as I can but I really love that this applicator has like a little thing like a little spatula and this one is in the color desert beige it has beige desert and desert beige so I guess it's both shades in one but I'm just gonna apply all of this all over the face with that spatula and then go in with our real techniques sponge like i said i try to keep a drugstore you guys can find this at target or walmart i absolutely love this blender sponge um it is a dupe for the actual real beauty blender and the smell of this is not good guys this smells like if you're opening a fresh can of paint you know like if you buy like at walmart or home depot that's exactly what it smells like but i have to say that this foundation is really nice and this is only $4, guys. At least at my Walmart, this was only $4. And um, I really like it so far. Um, the only con about this foundation is the smell. Now, I love that intensity, you know, high pigmentation, high coverage. That's what I really like in my foundation. So um, I'm really going to build this up and apply more to the areas that I feel, you know, need it. So, which is on my cheeks, that's where I need the more coverage. I absolutely love that this thing has a little spatula at the end. But anyway, guys, so this foundation claims to be photo focused. So, on the back of it, it says that goodbye photo flashback. And so it's supposedly not going to flash back in photos, which I will have in my thumbnail and you guys will see if it has flashback or not. Now we're going to be taking this Milani concealer. This is one of the new ones. This one is in medium, light medium, and I'm going to be highlighting all the key points that I usually highlight. Um, I don't like that dome app applicator. Um, I don't know. I just don't like it. But now I'm going to be taking my... Real Technique sponge and blending this out. Now, at first, guys, I absolutely loved this concealer at first. And um, once it started oxidizing, guys, like, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but once it started oxidizing, it started getting, like, really yellow. Super yellow. Like, not good yellow. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But you guys, like in person, it looked a lot worse. Um, these lights and all that that I have on my face, I, you guys can't probably see it that bad. But you guys, it was really bad in person. And um, with this Milani concealer, um, the issue, the only issue that I had with it, with it was the the color of it. It was super yellow. Like it, like I know it's supposed to brighten and do all of that, but it was just super yellow, like really yellow. It looked literally like I just put yellow on my face. I did not like this concealer at all, guys. And the only thing about it was that it was not patchy, but once it, it like clinged on to the dry patches on my forehead, that's where I noticed it a lot. I'm just going to be adding a little bit more of that foundation around all of the highlight points because it was very hard to blend those edges. And it was very noticeable where my con my um, foundation and my highlight met. So that's what I did not want. I wanted more of a seamless blend. So you guys, that was 
a no-no for me. The concealer, I'm sorry, but no. Now, I'm going to be going in with my Maybelline 01 Light. Um, this one is more of a neutral neutral color. Um, it's going to counteract against the yellow because I don't want the yellow to be popping out so much. So I'm just using this concealer to, you know, try to correct that yellowness because it's too yellow. You see, and right as I blended that Maybelline concealer over the Milani one, it actually blended a lot better and... Even the color under my eyes looks a lot better, guys. And then um, because where I put the Milani concealer at first, it was not letting me blend. So I had to take a brush and literally carve out the top of my eyebrows because that concealer was not budging or moving. So at this point in the video, I'm feeling so much better about that concealer. <laughs> but... Now I'm going to be baking with, um, this one is the Maybelline Prep Set and Go, I think. Oh no, no. This one is the Maybelline New Master Fix by Face Studio. This is a loose perfecting loose powder. Um, this one is in translucent. It's like the only color that they have. Um, this was my first time testing this one out. And um, I'm just using it to bake underneath my eyes because it is a white powder. And I was afraid that I was going to get flashback or I was afraid, um, you know, that it will leave like a white canvas under my uh, under my eyes where I put that concealer. So I did not want to try it. But for the purpose of this video, that's why I'm trying it and hopefully hoping for the best. Now I'm going to be taking my... Um, black radiance um, soft focus finishing powder this is a bronzer and um the one that i'm using is in true complexion you guys this bronzer is a winner for me so this one i got at walmart i think this one was about four dollars as well and um this is about like the second time that i'm using it the first time i used it i was a little iffy about it but that's just because i wasn't applying it right and um but you guys, look at how bronze this powder is making me look. And look at what it's doing for my skin. It looks so healthy. It looks so beautiful. And it's actually warming up my skin without making it look gray. That's why I always tell you guys in my videos that I cannot use anything gray on my skin tone, at least. Because for myself, if I use anything gray, you know, that has like gray undertones... I will look muddy in my contour line. So that's why I do not use anything that has gray tones. I don't like any gray contours, anything like that. So I always stick to the more warmer bronzers. And you guys absolutely love this one. I do recommend it. Now, this is the Milani um, face powder. Um, I wanted to use this one so that way I can uh, clean up my contour a little bit. And I was using a brush for it, but as you guys can see, I was not getting any pigmentation. Um, it was just very light. And um, so I want to test this out and see if I can clean up that contour. So what I do is I'm just getting my beauty blender and putting it into that powder. And I'm going to be going in and trying to contour this face. Now, because this powder is lighter, appears to be lighter... I'm going to use it to clean up that contour. So that's what I thought I would do instead of using that white translucent powder. But the shade that I'm in is in 04, so which is a lot lighter, at least it looks to be. And then now I'm going to be going in with that NYX contour palette. You can get this one at Target. And I'm using that first shade to contour, but I'm going to be focusing it in the back, you know, Part of my contour I'm not going to be pulling it all the way to the front I just want a little bit of contour a little bit of definition that's what I'm going to do but you guys see that powder that I just laid down um yeah it does not look good it actually oxidized like crazy guys you guys first saw it when I barely baked it under my underneath my contour so now that it's darker like if anything else couldn't go wrong right now, I'm going to be using my 
Maybelline, this is the loose powder in 01 light. This is the one that I compared with the translucent powder from Laura Mercier. And you guys, this is my ride or die powder, but I'm trying to clean up that contour now because like a dumbass, I put this Milani face powder that was actually too dark, but it just oxidized, which I wish I would have known. But anyway, so I still feel like in person that I could see that yellow, that yellowish kind of color peeking through. So I'm going in with the NYX HD banana powder and I'm putting that underneath my eyes. Um, I was hoping that I can put this under my eyes and later on let it um, just sit and cook for a little bit and then wipe it all away so that way it counteracts from that yellowness. And um, so I'm just using a um, makeup shack brush just to do that. So I'm just going on the sides of my nose just to snatch it a little bit. Now I'm going to be taking the Milani Face Glow Powder. This is the new one. And you guys look. What the fuck is that? Tell me what is that? This is too subtle. And y'all know. Y'all know me, right? You know I don't go for subtle. I thought this was going to be a high beaming, you know, they're raving about it, saying that, oh my god, it's amazing. But anyway, so let's blend out that um, clean contour line. And you guys, you guys, can we talk? Can we talk? Look at that line. Are you serious? Are you freaking serious? So now let's blend out underneath our eyes. It's a little too bright for me, but, you know, what the hell. This is what happens when you try new makeup, right? But anyway, guys, can you guys see that damn contour line? Get it together. Anyway, now this highlighter, guys, I was expecting so much more from it. But look, can you guys see anything? Nope. That's because it don't work. You guys, well, it works. It's just, it's too subtle for me. You guys already know I'm not no basic ass bitch. So, I don't like this highlighter. Sorry, I don't need it. Anyway, this concealer was a no. This highlighters were a no. I got both shades. It was in shade the second shade and the third shade, which were a no. Now, let's go on to this makeup setting spray. Nope, um, I'll stick to my Mario Badescu. Um, face powder, hell no. It oxidized too much, too much, and it clinged to my dry pack. Foundation was amazing, guys. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this try on makeup with me. Um, some products worked for me. Some didn't. Anyway, follow me on my social media, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you.